This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is David Lenegas, the Executive Chairman of Vinance PLC. Thank you for joining us again, David. Following the news this morning from the company that Vinance will be diversifying into other cryptos, namely Ethereum, Solana and Cosmos. So, I mean, this is a bit of a bit of a new announcement, not really expected, I don't think. But I wonder if you can give some rationale as to uh, why you're doing this. Yeah, good morning, Mark. No, it's... Um it's an exciting day uh, for us. We are mining lots of Bitcoin. Our Bitcoin um, mining in, in, in the northern parts of uh, America are doing well. And we've decided to launch a new division within um, within Binance. That not, we're not only just mining and holding Bitcoin, but we're going to allocate some of our Bitcoin holding and increasing Bitcoin holding into the bigger alternative cryptocurrencies like Solana and Ethereum. Mm-hmm. And... Um, yeah, particularly when you've got lots of noise, particularly in the States, with the the, the likes of the Black Rocks and the Van X and the Fidelities now looking at doing ETFs on Ethereum, um, you know, we see that as quite exciting. And when you look back at the last couple of halvings, particularly in the Bitcoin, you know, you've seen increases of three to five hundred, six hundred percent in the Bitcoin price. Mm-hmm. But you're seeing things like Ether or Ethereum, you know, going up literally well over a thousand percent. So what we want to do is give our shareholders some exposure to the alternative cryptocurrency um, markets as we get closer to the halving. We want to be well and truly entrenched into that new uh, into that new philosophy by by April. And uh, yeah, if we build it big enough, we'll look at um, at spinning the whole thing out as a subsidiary listed subsidiary of um, of, of finance. So to add value for 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 finance shareholders. Okay, so will you actually be treating it as a separate sort of branch to the main operations? Absolutely, of we're going to set up a whole new division. We'll give it a okay. name. It will have a structure. Binance okay. will be the major shareholder. We've had okay. lots of interest from people. Um, can we can we get involved in seed round funding? I mean, that's all happened since yesterday. So there's there's obviously a lot of appetite for it. We're just going to work out how best to structure it so that okay. you know, Binance um, you know, is the major beneficiary of it. But, but there's not many people doing the sorts of things that we're doing. Okay. So okay. To, to actually be a Bitcoin miner, mine Bitcoin and diversify into other alternative digital currencies is very mm-hmm. unique globally. And I mean, I think in the RNS, it was, you, you commented saying the strategic expansion goes beyond mere diversification. It's an embrace of the vibrant and dynamic possibilities that these technologies bring to the table. So is this more than just exposure to the, um, to, to, the, to the price of these other cryptocurrencies? You're actually looking at the actual underlying technology and the possibilities. Absolutely. This is all around blockchain and the ecosystems around the blockchain. And, okay. and blockchain is becoming highly, highly recognized as a, as a globally acceptable register. And people are putting values on that as an asset class and you know, led by, by things like Ethereum. So okay. you know, we're, we're pretty excited about broadening the whole scope. And when we first listed you know, Binance, we said that not only would we be looking at mining Bitcoin, but we'll be looking at the whole you know, broader DeFi section. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's following along from our, what we said to our shareholders when we listed the company. Okay, so it could it could in time be uh, be more than just exposure to the price. It could actually be involved in the technologies and some projects. Well, behind. absolutely. Particularly when okay. you look at things like AI and all those sorts of things coming into okay. the marketplace and and into the blockchain ecosystems. Yeah, this this really sort of broadens out our our horizons rather than just being a simplistic you know company that that has computers spinning in North America mining Bitcoin. Okay, I see. Okay, it's that's interesting. That's a Very- whole different ecosystem about what finance is and makes us a lot more attractive for potential you know people who want to invest in what we're doing indeed and in, and you've mentioned there almost treating it as a separate division that might then be its own vehicle well, we have a name for it but i don't want to tell anybody what it is because someone will probably go and jump into company's house and try and buy it before okay we, fine yeah before we do it but it's pretty exciting yeah but i mean in terms of can i ask you a bit on the on the risk element because of course you know B- btc is considered the less risky of quite a risky asset class here yeah. have you and got any a really really top question the nice thing about what we're doing is 
it's going into a new wallet that is instantly fungible backwards and forwards. We can fund, we can we can move Bitcoin to Ethereum to Solana back into Ethereum back into Bitcoin. US dollars, GBP or euros literally within microseconds at the push of a computer button. Okay. So from a risk perspective, um, we can convert all of this digital cryptocurrency back into real hardcore things that we all go and buy milk, eggs, meat, potatoes with, you know, at the push of a button. Okay. But we just see that the whole market in this you know, alternative cryptocurrency ecosystem is just going to explode, potentially explode yeah. even more to the upside than, than, than what people are predicting Bitcoin to be. Okay. But I think we, can, we can minimize our risk literally at a push of a button and move things back into Bitcoin or into US dollars or GBP or whatever. I think it's good to diversify away, but of course, so there is the risk element. Do you have a strategy? Is there sort of a ratio, Bitcoin versus alternatives? At this stage, we're talking around about sub 20%. Right. Okay. Okay. And so, you actively you know, manage that's, that's that alternative 20% of what we've got in the wallet at the moment, which I think is something in the order of you know, 13, 14, 15 Bitcoin. And that's going up regularly. Yeah. As we've got those 300 miners spinning in North America and getting quicker and quicker as we put them okay. into overdrive. And we're looking at um, at ways to, to to add to our Bitcoin fleet quite significantly yeah, in the okay. coming months. Um, but it's not only our existing wallet, but it's also a proportion of the Bitcoin that we will be buying on a day by day basis. Okay, and then you'd be actively managing and monitoring the alternatives quite actively, I would assume. Absolutely, but but we don't want to buy sort of currency crypto scenarios. Wrong. Sometimes currency is the wrong word. Um, alternative cryptos, we don't want to be buying the ones that are sort of out there. We want to be buying things like mainstream Ethereum, okay. the things that the institutions, you know, in America are pitching to the US SEC to say, look, let us launch some ETFs on this as well. Because, okay. um, you know, the bigger the investment by the US global fund managers into crypto as an alternative asset, the less risky it all becomes. Yeah, as volatile it becomes. Well, on, on, on that note, what's going on with that? Because, of course, BlackRock uh, launched their B BTC ETF, and you, you've got your ear to the ground on what's going on. So how has that launch gone? Have you got any insights? No, interesting. I just had one of my advisors say, oh, has, has the whole ETF thing actually started in America? I said, well, you've sort of missed the boat. I mean, it started the next day. The last I saw as of yesterday, um, there's been, just through the US, 27 billion US dollars of Bitcoin bought for the big fund managers into their ETFs from oh, yeah. launched a couple of weeks ago to yesterday. That's $27 billion. That's more than the budgets of some countries. Yeah, indeed. This is insane. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite a lot. So that's no, I saw something else said that, uh, earlier today. That at the pace that BlackRock is buying Bitcoin, it could well be, if they keep up with this pace, BlackRock will hold a million Bitcoin um, okay. by August 2024. BlackRock potentially holds a million by 2024. Uh, they, if they keep buying at this pace, yeah. BlackRock at this pace will, will hold a million Bitcoin yeah by august this year yeah wow okay and, um, and do they have any plans to expand that that offer to their you know to, 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 to well the you end up with derivatives on derivatives at the moment they've got one for one etf so you know, okay. you put money into the blackrock etf and it's 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 a straight off one-to-one -one ratio on what they sort of cover okay, yeah. but okay. as these financial markets become more sophisticated people start doing derivatives you know, margin lending, you know, those sorts of um, yeah. financial instruments around the core. But first of all, you need to create the core yeah, sure. that, that the derivatives can spin off. So okay. at the moment, the world is really sort of focusing on building a core and making sure that they understand, you know, the, the Bitcoin market, you know, and the regulatory environment that they're working now with in the SEC yeah. um, before things get a little bit more exotic, if I put it that way. Indeed, indeed. And just going back to today's news, then, has, has, have you started at the moment buying up the other cryptocurrencies that you've mentioned? It'll start in the next couple of days. We're just okay. moving Bitcoin into the right wallet okay. so it can have its own life. Because okay. if we're going to ultimately look at potentially listing it, 
you want to make sure the structure's set up properly right from okay. the get-go. Okay. But yeah, we'll we'll be we'll be diversifying by the end of this week or early next week, okay. some of our okay. some of our wallet, yeah. And on the wider operations with the Bitcoin miners, a bit of an update on what's oh, going fantastic. on. Fantastic. I mean, we're rolling out more and more and more of the uh, units into overdrive. Okay. Uh, it's having a, a dramatic effect. And just you know, speaking to um, to our senior consultants in the states who are managing this process, to put it into perspective, we've got sort of call it three hundred Bitcoin miners running in North America at the moment, just in round number terms. Mm-hmm. By putting our units in Labrador alone into overdrive and having them spin slightly faster and a lot more efficient, it's like adding an extra 30 Bitcoin miners to the fleet. 30, okay, yeah. But no money, which is fantastic. And when we get everything sort of sped up 10 to 12% faster than, than sort of, you know, the nameplate that we install, yeah. we'll then look at cranking it up into the 15 to 20% in okay, the overdrive. Yeah. I guess there'll be an increase in energy cost for there a little bit. There is, but we've got a, we've got a very very good energy rate. So um, yeah, you weigh that off, and that's that's part of the compromise. Is you end up mining more Bitcoin for slightly more energy cost, but if the Bitcoin price is sitting at you know forty three, forty four, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, two hundred thousand, the reward is on the upside, and the costs are fixed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that update, David. Um, another, another thing to follow uh, follow the story on with Binance here. So thank you for joining us today. Yeah, pleasure. Great. Thanks, Mark. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like, or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.